Our disability study story begins on a lovely spring day at Northern Arizona University. A student worker is finishing their work at the Assistive Technology Center at the Institute for Human Development. Did you know that disability is largely a social construct? The student gets up from a chair and walks to their wheelchair. You might look at me and say, well, obviously there's something wrong with you. And yes, I have cerebral palsy. He sits down into his wheelchair, releases the brake, and wheels out of the room. I'm not always disabled. Oh no, there's dangerous stairs in his path. As long as I have a ramp to go down. He easily wheels down the accessible ramp and pushes a button which opens a door to the outside. Because of the Americans with Disabilities Act, the building is accessible for wheelchair users. He wheels down the sidewalk towards the library. What is this? Now I'm disabled. What it is, is a dangerous concrete ramp. That's not ADA compliant. Let's take a peek into DIS 498, the Senior Seminar for Disability Studies Minors. It's not just physical barriers that can be disabling. Attitudes can be disabling too. I Matthew is a man B with a significant disability. You He's using a pointer on a helmet I to point to a letter board. Didn't. A revoicer sits by his side. H think I am a P R professor. We're back in DIS 490. Matthew, do you have a question for the class? Yes. W what is ableism? A student answers Matthew's question. Ableism is discrimination against people with disabilities and a preference for non-disabled people. Justice, a man with Down syndrome, approaches a desk in the HR department of the Ableist Company. Hi. Hi. Do you have a job application? The HR man tries to cover um, the stack of applications. We don't have any job applications. Justice looks at the stack of applications. Sasha, <sighs> okay? Had a better job. I'm a co-teacher! Yay! We see Justice in front of DIS 201. Any questions? Introduction to Disability Studies. DNA. What's the difference between identity first and people first language? An autistic student leaves a dorm. I prefer identity first language because being an autistic person is a big part of who I am and I'm not ashamed of it. She walks by a student with dwarfism sitting on a bench. I prefer people first language as I am a person first and dwarfism is just a part of who I am. There are people in my community that like the term little person, but to me that makes me sound like a child. Just call me by my name. Her friend walks up to her. Hey lady, thanks for waiting. Of course, you ready to go? Yes. Let's go. Lainey and her friend walk down the sidewalk as a car pulls into an accessible parking spot. An accessible parking placard hangs from the rearview mirror. A passerby intently watches as a student gets out of the car and walks past the man. The man stares at the student, but the student ignores him. Don't be a jerk. Not all disabilities are apparent. We enter a dorm room. I have chronic health conditions with depression and anxiety. My teachers are really accommodating, and when I need to, they allow me to zoom into class when I have a bad flare. So class, what are some ways that we can improve how we portray people with disabilities in films and on TV? A student types on her laptop. So Corey in the chat says, we can have people with disabilities play disabled characters. Yes, yes. And we finish our day with Matthew at his home. Nothing about you, us, W, I, without us. Nothing about us, without us. The Minor in Disability Studies is offered at Northern Arizona University's Flagstaff Campus and is available to all undergraduate students. To learn more about disability studies or to enroll in the disability studies minor, contact us at ihd.nau.edu.